Hi everybody, my name is Bell and this is a beginner guide for anybody that wants to get into speed running. There's two things that you need to know before we get started. The first one is you need to know how to run VEX on a specific version of Dolphin Emulator. And there's going to be a video in the description that will help you with that. The second thing that you need to know is you need to know how to triple jump with Rage. So <clears throat> I'll leave another video by Astrius in the description that explains how to triple jump and how that mechanic kind of works in the game. So the run starts when you press A on continue without saving. So as soon as you press A on continue without saving, that's when you start your timer. And as soon as you press A, there's going to be a cutscene. So get ready to press start to skip the cutscene. So here we go. We're spamming start. We skipped the cutscene already. <clears throat> see, you see how I pressed, I spammed uh, start and I already skipped the cutscene. So that's good. Next thing that comes up is going to be some text boxes. But there's going to be this cutscene before it. So you want to spam start right here. And that'll skip that cutscene. Next is the text boxes. We spam the jump button to, to get rid of the text boxes. As soon as the text boxes are gone, we pause the game and click on quit dream. There's going to be another cutscene right here, so press start to skip that as soon as you can. Alright, so now, the first thing we have to do is get the lava charm out of the painting over here. So, you can do like two, two long jumps to get over here. And then we're going to use a high jump, flare kick, ground pound. Ground pound is this ability right here. And it's really good at grabbing ledges. So if you ground pound next to a ledge, you almost always grab it. So that's what we're using to grab the ledge. So if you don't ground pound, you might not grab the ledge, see? So we need to ground pound. So that is a high jump, flare kick, ground pound. And I also want to mention, and the fastest way is just to climb up. Uh, I also want to mention most of my jumps are going to be extended high jumps and extended long jumps. And Astrius will, ex will explain how to do that. So make sure you're using extended high jumps and extended long jumps. Some, some jumps you might not be able to actually get high enough if you're not using an extended high jump or extended long jump. So make sure you're aware of the, ex the extended high jump and long jump. There's a cutscene right here, so we press start to skip it. And just an example, uh, extended high jump, this is a, this, when you crouch and then do the high jump, that's a regular high jump. But when you jump and then crouch, that's an extended high jump, just so uh, you know. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to go into the sundial and get that heart. So we just need to build up some rage. So just practice juggling an enemy. And I think this is probably the easiest way to do it and, and practice it. There's some more advanced strategies on how to like really min-max getting rage, but I wouldn't worry about that for now. Okay, once your rage bar is full, you're going to go over to the sundial. And you you might drop the juggle, and it's alright if you want to if you need to restart on this guy. There's two of them, so if, if you need to use that guy to get some more rage as well, you can. There's even a third one if you want. Alright, so we jump on the sundial. We're going to spin it so that it's in between the two markings. See the, the, um, There's one right here, I'm standing on it, and there's another one right here. We spin it until the little arrow is in between those two. Alright, now we're going to do sundial. Sundial is time sensitive. You need to go fast on it as soon as you go through. So I'm going to perform the execution and you'll have to watch closely. I'll try and uh, narrate over it as best I can. So here we go. As soon as you get in, you need to be moving. So here we go. As soon as you get in, jump up here like that. And just get on this platform before you miss the cycle. Long jump over here. Get on this platform. You're going to jump straight into the void. Activate rage. Do a rage jump to get up here. And then get onto this platform. And once you get here, you're all good. You're in the clear. That's probably... I mean, it's pretty hard, but it's not that hard. You'll, you'll get uh, some practice in and it won't be too bad. Okay. That's how you do the sundial. That's the uh, easy easy way to do the sundial. Next up is soccer. Soccer is a really tough heart. Not because it's like challenging, but just because 
it can be really frustrating. So my recommendation is don't waste time on trying to get this soccer ball into the net like super fat. Don't don't reset a bunch of times because you can't get the soccer ball. This is what you do with the soccer ball, by the way. This is the best way to get the soccer ball to the net. You put it over here. And you kind of you want it to roll in between these two trees. Like you want it to roll through this area right here. If you can line it up to roll through this area like that. And then it'll it should if you kicked it right, it should land about right there. And you just keep kicking it over here. And don't worry if you mess up a lot on soccer. I always mess up on soccer. Everyone messes up on soccer. So make sure you fill up your rage bar. If you don't have rage, you want to fill up your rage bar here. And we just push the soccer ball into the net. And grab the heart. All right. Next is top of the tree. So at this point, you should have refilled your rage and we're going to do top of the tree now. Top of the tree, there's a way to do it without rage, but I think even a beginner, I think could use the practice with using some rage. I think it saves five seconds to use rage here. So if you don't have rage, you can pick up some rage on, on this Gremkin right here. Um, just climb up the fence. Um, there's a specific way to do it, but just don't worry too much about it. Once you get up here, you want to get over here and jump up here and get on top of this. And from here, we're going to do a long jump and then a rage high jump to get over there. So long jump, rage high jump. There we go. Now we're up here. So the movement for this is do you do a claw jump to get up and then you're going to do claw jumps all the way to the heart. And then there you go. That's how you do top of the tree. Now we do floating islands. Okay. Floating islands is time sensitive. So you need to be, you need to go as fast as you can. And it may take some practice for, fl for floating islands, but this is how you do floating islands. You're going to walk through here, do a high jump to get up here. Another high jump to get up here. Just move, um, basically up this, um, this path here and uh, just try and avoid taking damage or grabbing ledges and just kind of practice getting up here as fast as you can and if you get up in time you'll be able to make this cycle and jump on this floating island and that's what you want to do you want to get up in time to uh, get on that as soon as this one comes along get on this one climb up this one and here's the next one Get on this one, climb up this one, and there you go. And you can grab the heart. Next up is Rock Suit. And we have the Rock Charm because that's what we got in the very beginning. It's the first thing that we did when we got control of Vex. <clears throat> I should also mention, you can see how my Rage Bar is not full. It's a good idea to just refill your rage bar whenever you can. I think like right here is a good a good place to refill it as well. So you go ahead and refill there. You can also refill on floating islands, but it can slow you down. So if you're just be careful, you don't want to miss that cycle on floating islands. This is the path with the rock suit. Just run over this way. There's nothing real special about the routing for rock suit. Or like how you how you run, just run basically straight to the heart, and you'll be good. Careful not to fall in the, wall, the water. Okay, so we've got rock suit. Now it's time for dragon reach. Jump into dragon reach. The first one for dragon reach is jars. Okay, so if you need rage, make sure you grab some rage from that gremkin. You're gonna follow this path. Just climb up this spine over here and head over this direction. The first jar we're going to grab is this one right here by the sinkhole. And grab this jar. We're going to use an extended high jump to get enough height to get up here. And another extended high jump again. 
Grab that jar, and here's the next one. And we're going to climb up here. If you need some rage, you can always pick some up off of this puggle. And we need to grab the wingsuit. So to get that, we're going to use a uh, rage jump just to be able to reach over there. So we'll do a long jump, rage, and there we go. We're going to grab the wingsuit token. And now we're going to jump onto the next jar. And the camera's kind of locked up right now, so you won't be able to see it. If you want to be able to see, you can just press the Y button and un and unpress it again, and then it'll give you, give you control of the camera. And you can see we're jumping to that jar right there. So you just jump, and sometimes you need to kind of ground pound to deal with the camera. So don't be afraid to ground pound if you need to. The next jar is this one. And we can grab Rage off of that flying thing if we need it. And you don't need to, but you can if, if you have a good opportunity to get Rage there. Now the last jar is just below us, so we can just jump off and ground pound and flare kick to kind of just line up and make sure we land on it. Uh, just as a, as a note, another side note, it's probably a good idea to get Rage from this flying thing, because if you do somehow like kind of miss here, and I've missed here before, and you land down here, it's really easy just to kind of do a high jump and recover and you don't lose that much time at all. You just do that and then you can get back up. But if you do land down here and you do not happen to have rage, the fastest way to recover is just jump over here, extend the high jump, ground pound, flare kick, and then you're back up. And then you can just kind of walk back around like this, get back on the claw, and you can grab your final jar. And from here, we can just jump over to the heart. High jumps is probably what you want to do to get up to these platforms. And that's jars. All right, next is wingsuit. For wingsuit, we're going to be using a little bit of rage, so we need to make sure we get some rage. So the, the path to the wingsuit is over this way. This is a good opportunity to get some rage if you need to off of these uh, Gremkins. Now, I'm going to kill these Gremkins just so I have some room to explain what to do. Okay, so what you need to do is you need to jump up here and land on the uh, right here. This is where you need to land. But if you fall, you fall to your death. So be very careful. Don't be afraid to use ground pound or flare kick to kind of give yourself some extra time to line up and get it. And then we do a high jump and we get up here. And we just follow this path. If you need rage, you can get some right there off that Grenkin. Now this is a really difficult jump for beginners because you need to get like a really good extended long jump. I recommend you just use a ground pound right here. That'll give you enough distance to make the jump no problem. Next, we use this spring pad and we land up by that arrow. So to do that, we're gonna to need to use some rage to get high enough. So we jump, use some rage, high jump, flare kick, we got it. <clears throat> also, just to mention, if you, if you kind of like try and get up there but you don't make it all the way and you fall down, you can easily do another strategy, which is just getting these puggles and it's actually a little bit easier. You can just do a rage jump like this to get up. So, and we just kind of climb up these platforms and jump through here and we're to the wingsuit. We can grab the wingsuit. Once you get the wingsuit, just be careful not to hit anything right when you start and you fly over and grab the heart. There we go. Next up is rock suit. Rock suit is um, pretty pretty easy but you do need to get rage like you you need to get rage for this one because you're going to need to use it for dragon claw so the best place to get rage is right off this gremkin right here if you somehow miss that gremkin i recommend you just keep going on the path towards the rock suit and there's another puggle right here you can get rage from that puggle and we grab the rock suit 
for the rock suit, I would just I recommend just um, walking around the sinkhole because it can slow you down sometimes, and just walk straight over this way, and just drop down here, and there you go, and there's the heart. Now we have our rage bar. We got the easy heart. Time to do dragon claw, which is a little bit harder. But doable. It's only hard because we have to use some rage. So it's basically the same as wingsuit. It's just a little different. So come over here again. And we actually have another opportunity to get some rage if we need to. Land up here on this. And then do your high jump to get up here. Long jump, regular jump. You can get rage here too if you need to. And again, we do long jump, ground pound, and flare kick. If you want to practice doing it without a ground pound, you can, but it's not really that important. It only saves you a little bit of time. So same strategy. Use the spring pad, activate rage, flare kick, and we're up. And from here, we can just kind of follow. You can actually spam the jump button here, and you'll get some good long jumps and grab that heart. Last one is Ghost Temple. I think Ghost Temple is pretty tough, actually, but we'll, we'll get through it. Okay. So for Ghost Temple, we do the same thing. We come over on this side. We fill our rage bar. Jump up here, get our high jump. There's the movement. We get some rage if we need to. Again, we do a long jump. We use a ground pound just to make sure we make it across. We go on this spring pad. And we come up here. And go into the temple. So once you get inside, we're going to jump from here all the way to those yellow platforms over there. And it's going to be a long jump, rage high jump, ground pound, flare kick. So it'll look like this. There we go. That's how you do it. If you man, if you somehow miss, uh, it's a pretty tough jump. So if you do miss, you might fall and land down here. There's a backup strategy. Just run over here really quick. And jump on this platform. Climb up here. And... Get yourself over here so that you can jump from here onto that. And for this, we want to just try and get the longest jump we can get. So ground pound, you ground pound to the last second and flare kick. And I would always use a ground pound for this. I This is a, lot, a really far jump, so definitely use a ground pound. So now I do Neverglades. So the first one we do is in Neverglades because Neverglades... There's basically no way to get rage in Neverglades. The only way you can get rage is from doing statue eyes. So that's what we're going to do. And we just go straight down the middle path. Just use high jumps and regular jumps here to get through. You can use a long jump if you need to. Here, you can just spam long jump like this. And we use a high jump. You need an extended high jump there to get up. Alright, we just grab the wingsuit and we fly over to here and we land on this this gives you infinite rage so what you do here is you activate your rage you shoot twice and then jump and turn off your rage and you can see now my rage bar is full again because every time you land on this it recharges your rage bar to full so now we just do a long jump and grab the heart so that's statue eyes. Now we have a full rage bar, and we can do one of the hardest parts of the run, which is waterfall. And the only way you can do waterfall is with a triple jump. I think this is the first triple jump of the run. Waterfall is really fast, and you need to use a triple jump. So here we go. We run over here, and we line up for waterfall. Waterfall is probably the most challenging heart so far. So. I'm going to kill this flower just so it doesn't shoot me while I'm explaining things. Alright, so what you want to do... I'm going to kill this thing too, just so it doesn't get in my way. Okay, so as you come over this way, you're going to want to line up your long jump so that you can jump onto this rock right here. 
and you can stand about right here. So you can see the heart up there and you can see how this like beam of water kind of is in between me and the heart. So you kind of want to jump into that beam of water and you just perform a triple jump and you kind of want to pass the this uh, waterfall section by a little bit. So let me just show you. Rage, don't turn it off. Do your your triple jump and grab the heart. It may take some practice to get that one, but that's our first triple jump and I recommend just practicing that one until you get it. It's a good way to practice a triple jump anyway, so. Okay, so what happens if we miss the waterfall heart? Well, don't worry, there's a backup strategy and it only costs you 12 seconds. So 12 seconds isn't too bad. So for example, we go for the waterfall heart, but we mess up. Don't panic, just climb, jump up over here and jump across over here, jump into this water, swim across, and we're gonna go straight and do the electric fish. So jump in here and do the electric fish. So you'll do the electric fish heart the normal way, and once you grab the electric fish heart, you'll be back in the hub. Okay, so now we have electric fish done, now we're gonna do jars. We're just gonna skip over waterfall for now. So on your way to do jars, just come this way, and there is a way we can get some rage. So you, you're gonna have you're going to have a triple jump with like loss of rage. So these guys, these flamethrower guys, they can give you rage. So what you want to do is just build rage off of these guys and try and fill up your rage bar. And it should only take you a little bit to fill up. And now you're back at full rage. And now you can continue on into here and do jars. <clears throat> and once you finish with the jars heart, you can go ahead and go back and you get a second try at waterfall. And, only, and this will only slow you down by 12 seconds. So if you miss Waterfall on the first try, it's worth it to come back and like keep the run going, do the backup strategy, and uh, try another time. And you can get it on your second try. Next up is Electric Fish. Electric Fish is really easy, but it does have some RNG, so... We just come down straight the, on the middle path, jump onto this. This is actually kind of important. So jump onto this, then jump here, and make sure you have enough distance to do a flare kick and, and make it over this. Actually, you want to land on this if you can. You don't want to touch the water, it'll slow you down a lot. And you do another long jump, and you jump in this hole. All right, once you're in here, turn right and just trying to attract the, the attention of all three fish. Don't go too far ahead or too far away or anything like that. Just try and get all three fish to start swimming after you. That right, looks like I got all three of them. The spawn points are random, so you can have some bad luck here, but usually you'll be fine. 90% of the time you'll be all right. You just want to push them all through this ring. And then once they're all through, just uh, get in position to um, jump on this button. Don't jump on the button early. Wait until after the cutscene. Otherwise, you'll be you'll it, you'll get kicked out and everything will get messed up. So once the cutscene's over, then you can press the button. We just uh, grab that heart. So that's electric fish. Next up is Neverglades jars. So. I picked the 18 fastest and easiest hearts that we um, that we can do. And so Jars is one that won't be in the world record, but it's only like five seconds or so slower than the world record heart, so. And it's way easier. I made a mistake there. All right. We don't have any rage, that's okay, we don't need it. <clears throat> From in here, we just turn left and we jump into these paintings. Um, so for these paintings, I'm going to do optimal movement. Uh, uh, maybe I shouldn't... Uh, you, you can do a high jump here and get up like that. You can make it with an extended high jump. 
I'll, I'll, I'll do generally optimum movement, easy optimal movement. You jump over here. You can jump to here. Now for here, I would just do a high jump, ground pound, flare kick. You actually need to do something like that. Even in world record, they'll do that. All right, from here, you want to land on this guy's fist and then jump down on this guy's fist and then jump onto his head. And then from here, you just do a high jump and then a long jump and land here. You want to do a, a really long, long jump. Now avoid hitting this because you'll grab onto it and it'll mess you up. So for example, yeah, see kind of see how it just messes me up. So what you want to do is just kind of like drop down like this. And from here, you want to do a, um, on top of this guy's head, you want to do a high jump flare kick to make it up here. And then once you're here, you do a long jump and you can jump out of the painting during the cutscene. So it saves a little bit of time. And here we go. You can also control Vex during that cutscene too. So you can walk around during the cutscene. So keep that in mind. And that's Jars. Next up is Pong and Tempest Peak. So we're we're always on the lookout to refill our rage bar. We want to do it as optimally as we can. After we get done doing a triple jump, we it drains our rage a lot. So a double jump doesn't drain your rage hardly at all. It only it only costs one rage, but triple jumping costs a decent amount of rage. Okay, so. Once we walk into Tempest Peak, we need to fill up our rage for the for clock, the next heart. So the best place to do that is right here. And you may take some practice. That's a pretty optimal way of uh, getting rage, but turn on the console, jump onto this pillow, and climb up these books and uh, lunch boxes. Let's turn on the TV. And then high jump onto the analog. Now, if you if the heart goes to the right side, just let the heart go down and let yourself lose because it's actually faster. If the heart starts and goes to the right, just to restart, just let yourself die and restart and get a left side heart because the left side heart is a lot faster than the right side. Towards the end, the heart starts getting pretty fast. So once you get that red block, just go into this corner and stay in the right the right corner. And it'll bounce twice in the right corner. And then it'll bounce again in the left corner. And there's a way to skip the cutscene. If you jump right at the end, you have to jump just after the heart hits the last um, hits the last block. And then you can actually control Vex during the cutscene. So that's something you can do if you want, but you don't really need to. It only saves like five seconds or so. So now we have our rage, we're ready to do clock. If you still don't have um, rage, that's okay. We have another opportunity to get some more rage. You can get rage here from that, um, from that flying thing, or you can get more rage again here. So we just jump under the pillow and we go over here. The there's an elevator over here, so you have to wait for the elevator anyway, so it's not too much of a rush to get over here. See, there's the elevator. We jump on the elevator. Now we want to control the camera and just kind of put it in the, at this angle. Once you get to the top, double jump like that. And you want to be careful here. I think the best way to do this is probably just walk around the cobweb because the cobweb can mess you up. So I would recommend just walking around the cobweb and then from here just doing a single long jump straight into the heart. The camera can mess up. There's a lot of things that can go wrong there, but if you walk around the cobweb and do a single long jump, everything should work out. Okay, so next up we're going to do bookshelf. So for this one, you can do a triple jump or a double jump. It's up to you. If you're confident in your triple jumps, it's probably better to use a triple jump because I think it's a little bit easier. I'm going to show both methods. You can choose for yourself which one you think is easier. Here's the triple jump. 
I think that's probably the easier one, but you can also do it with a double jump like this. So it's up to your discretion which one you choose. You can do either one. Once you get up here, just jump down to this sundial and you're going to want to turn this dial so that it's in between the two prongs. And make sure you can, you don't want to put it in nighttime because nighttime causes problems. All right. So now we're done with that. We come over here and we go ahead and just grab the lunchbox part. There we go. The last heart that we do is Sundial. And we want to make sure that we end with Rage when we finish. So Sundial is to the left. Come over here. Jump onto this pillow again. Land on these books. Come up here. Basically the same route as the clock, except for this time we actually go inside. Now, once you get in, it's important to, there's two ways to do this. The first one is up here. This is the way that I'm going to recommend. You got to go fast to get up here, though, and make this jump. That's how you do it. You got to go fast, though. The other way is a lot harder. So once you get inside, get some rage if you need it. Let me show you how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to do it like this. There you go. That's how you make it up. And then get over here. For this part, we're going to use a double jump. You want to do an extended high jump and a flare kick. You can use a ground pound if you need to, because this is a pretty high jump. So I would recommend an extended high jump, ground pound, flare kick to get up here. And then we do a rage double jump to get up here. Climb up this pole. Grab the other one. Now, before we end, it's very important that we just grab some rage off this Gremkin because we're going to need it later. That's the only place that we can get rage and we need it. We climb up here and grab the heart. Now, the last thing we need to do is go into below and kick the troll in the balls. Um, this is a uh, triple jump as well. So that's why we have the rage so that we can use the triple jump. I think you can also do it with the double jump. So... I'm actually going to test that right now, see if it's easy enough for a beginner to do with just a double jump. So a big beginner should be able to do this maneuver. There you go, like that. And once you're up here, you you this is kind of important where you stand. You stand on this block area, and then you do a high jump to stand on this block area. And then what you want to do next is just do a really long, long jump over here. Because this this area will you'll fall if you don't jump over that. So you want to do a long jump over this, another long jump, and then just climb up over here. And there you go. Got him. And your run is over. You finished. Congratulations. So that concludes this beginner tutorial. I'm going to be doing a, some more advanced tutorials in the future, but... This should get everybody started and, and getting a good time. Um, so thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, just want to mention a couple more things. Think um, the description. You know, there's lots of cool stuff in the description. Subscribe. Um, there's three hearts in this run that I swapped out that'll be different from the world record run. This route is actually like about 17 to 18 seconds maybe 20 seconds slower than the world record route but honestly like if you use this i could use this route and and still get a world record i think so um even though it uses a lot easier hearts three easier hearts and it, it swaps up three really hard hearts you can still get like an extremely good time with this so if you practice using these strategies the way that we I've done it here, you should be able to get below 25 minutes for sure. You could if you're if you're really good and you practice a lot with this route, you could even get less than 23 minutes or 22 minutes even. Probably you can get down to 20 minutes with this. So this this route has plenty of potential to get up there on the leaderboard. 
and I will be doing a more advanced, like really no holding back guide um, in the future. But this is a really good starting point for anybody that's just wanting to get in. So thank you, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.